The Economic Electric Forklifts EFG BB216K and EFG BC316-320 are available as three- and four-wheel trucks. They are designed for versatile use in all transporting and stacking operations. The trucks can lift loads up to 2,000 kg to a lifting height of up to 6,500 mm. Please note, the content of this video has been prepared for use outside the US market. Only trained persons with safety shoes are allowed to operate the truck. Do not carry other people on the forks and do not stand under raised loads. Do not travel with a raised load. Mount the truck and adjust the seat and steering column to your height. Make sure the red emergency stop switch is pulled up. Start the truck by inserting the supplied key in the key switch and turning it clockwise. As soon as the truck is ready for use, the display shows the battery charge status. Always put the seat belt on. Before you move the truck, release the parking brake using the lever on the left side. Raise the load handler about 20 cm and tilt the mast slightly back. To do so, use the large hydraulic levers on the right side. On the hydraulic lever for lifting and lowering loads, you will also find the lever for forward and reverse travel. Always check the travel direction before running the truck. The controls of the truck are arranged to confirm to automotive standards with a steering unit as well as an accelerator and brake pedal. The horn is located on the lever for lifting and lowering. For switching the lights on and off, use the button on the display with the light symbol. You can select the travel speed via the truck display, either by pressing the crawl speed button or by using the program selector to adapt to the truck's parameters to your application. To slow down or stop the truck, release the accelerator pedal or step on the brake pedal. In an emergency, the truck can also be stopped via the emergency stop switch. Please take note of the maximum load capacity before lifting loads. For lifting and lowering loads, use the right-hand lever with a lift symbol. Use the lever with a tilt symbol to tilt the mast. Use the lever with a side shift symbol to precisely adjust the horizontal position of the load. Please note that the capacity of the truck is reduced when using side shifts. When parking the truck, make sure that the load section is completely lowered to avoid accidents. Apply the parking brake and turn off the truck. To charge the battery, the truck must be completely switched off. Make sure the parking brake is applied. Unlatch the seat hood and open the battery compartment. Disconnect the battery connector from the truck and connect it to the charger plug. The charger automatically switches off at the end of the charging process. If charging has to be interrupted, be sure to always switch off the charger first before disconnecting the truck from the charger. Once charging is finished, connect the battery connector to the truck again and close the hood. To maintain the lead acid battery, check the battery water level. Following the charging process, regularly refill the distilled water in the battery. Then close the cover of the water tanks. Make sure that no cables are trapped when closing the battery compartment. The truck is now ready for use again. In addition to the battery, regularly check the wheels, wheel bolts, the load section and load chains, as well as hydraulics for damage and contamination. For a long service life of battery and truck, we recommend regular maintenance by a Jungheinrich service engineer. Any questions about the truck or how it operates, we are nearby. Please observe the safety instructions. 
Further important information on the operation and maintenance of the truck can be found in the operator's manual supplied.